A massive exoplanet orbiting around a double star 336 light years away may offer clues to the mystery of the long-sought Planet Nine, thought to exist beyond Neptune. This is the first time that astronomers have been able to measure the motion of a planet with a mass of as much as 11 Jupiters that is orbiting very far away from its host stars and visible debris disk. This disk is similar to our Kuiper belt of small, icy trans-Neptunian objects. It represents the remnants of what it took to create the stars and the same dust from which planets are born. Here in our solar system, the hypothesized Planet Nine would also lie far outside of the Kuiper Belt on a similarly strange orbit. Now, astronomers measured the motion of the massive exoplanet called HD 106906b that may be exhibiting behavior similar to that of the suspected Planet Nine. This exoplanet has an eccentric and highly misaligned orbit and is very widely separated from its host stars. This is when we ask ourselves the question of how these planets formed and evolved to end up in their current configuration. The massive exoplanet, only about 15 million years old, suggests that our planet nine, if it does exist, could have formed very early on in the evolution of our 4.6 billion year old solar system. Astronomers discovered the massive exoplanet in 2013 using the Magellan telescopes at the Las Campanas Observatory in Chile's Atacama Desert. However, they did not then know anything about the planet's orbit. This required something only the Hubble Space Telescope could do, collect very accurate measurements of the exoplanet's motion over 14 years with extraordinary precision. The Vagabond planet lies extremely far from its host pair of bright young stars, more than 730 times the distance of Earth from the Sun, or nearly 6.8 billion miles. This vast distance made it enormously challenging to determine the 15,000 year long orbit in such a short time span of Hubble observations. The planet is slowly moving along its orbit given the weak gravitational pull of its very distant parent stars. Hubble team found that its orbit is extreme, both very elongated and tilted about 21 degrees, staying on the outside of a debris disk surrounding the twin stars. That's pretty weird compared to the planets in our own solar system that move around the sun in the same orbital plane. The debris disk itself is very unusual looking, perhaps due to the gravitational tug of the wayward planet. It's not so clear how this planet developed such an orbit, but scientists think the planet originally formed much closer to the pair of stars, and its orbit brought it so close to their stars that their combined gravity essentially knocked the planet away onto an eccentric orbit that almost threw it out of the star system and into the interstellar space. The researchers used data from the European Space Agency's Gaia Space Observatory to identify several potential stars that could have passed by this system, stabilizing the exoplanet's orbit and preventing it from leaving its home system. This would have created the unusual orbit the exoplanet has today. This explanation is similar to what scientists predict could have pushed the suspected Planet Nine to the outskirts of our solar system, past the Kuiper Belt. But in this case, Jupiter might have affected its orbit, kicking it out from the inner solar system. Planet Nine could have kept going past Pluto, but a passing star possibly stopped it by altering its orbit. By analyzing what happened to exoplanet HD 106906b is like investigating our own past. Scientists say it's as if we have a time machine for our own solar system, going back 4.6 billion years to see what may have happened when our young solar system was dynamically active.
and everything was being jostled around and rearranged. Although we don't know if Planet Nine really exists, scientists suggest the strange orbits of some of the trans-Neptunian objects might be the result of being affected by the gravitational pull of a massive, unseen planet that pushed them into a cluster and governs their movements. Astronomers proposed the planet's existence in 2012 to explain the phenomenon, but we haven't spotted it yet. An alternative theory is that there is not one giant perturbing planet, but instead the imbalance is due to the combined gravitational influence of multiple, much smaller objects. But it's also possible that the clustering of smaller bodies may be just a statistical anomaly. Further investigations into the formation and debris system of the exoplanet HD 106906b will be carried out by the James Webb Space Telescope, scheduled for a launch in October 2021. Because Webb is sensitive to smaller Saturn mass planets, it may be able to detect other exoplanets that had been ejected from this and other interplanetary systems. Let's hope we don't get any further delays and that we successfully launch the Webb telescope out there in 2021. Two dense neutron stars collided to form a magnetar and scientists have never before seen such an event. The merger resulted in a brilliant kilonova, the brightest ever seen, whose light finally reached Earth on May 22, 2020. Usually, when two neutron stars collide, scientists expect that they form a heavy neutron star that collapses into a black hole within milliseconds or less. The new study, however, shows that it's possible that for this particular short gamma ray burst, the heavy object survived. Instead of collapsing into a black hole, it became a magnetar.